Welcome everyone to Better Decoded. My name is Michael Nyago and in today's video we are going to learn how to estimate Granja causality test in English. Granja causality in economics is used to determine how this will evolve X is in forecasting another variable Y. Of course, two variables are considered when conducting this test, and these two variables are both the dependent and the independent variable. The directional causality between the variables, bidirectional causality, Then the next one is unidirectional. Then the fourth one, I did the third one, sorry. Is no causality. Okay, only this one is to do. Is no causality. So these are what we are we should be expecting after our estimate. So it's either there is a bidirectional causality, unidirectional causality. And no causality between variables. So let's go ahead and estimate the causality test using the variables we have on the screen. In this data, we have FDI, we have inflation, we have interest rates, we have log of capital formation, log of GDP, and log of gross sales. So Let's estimate the causality, the Granger causality between FDI and log of GDP. So since there is two variables, hold down your control key and select those two variables involved. Open the var these variables as group. Click on views, scroll down to where you say Granger causality. You click on it now for your lag your lag is should remain as two as we are dealing with monthly sorry yearly data yearly time series data so the lag let us let us leave it at two so click ok now let's look at what the null hypothesis says in the first instance, the null hypothesis said that log of GDP does not grant across FDI. And from our p value, we can see that uh, our p value is less than 0 0.05. We have a p value of 0 0.01, which is less than 0 0.05. So we reject the null hypothesis and conclude that log of GDP when they cause FDI. So in the second instance, the null hypothesis states that FDI does not grant cause log of GDP. Our p value says is 0 0.004, which is less than 0 0.05. Again, we reject the null hypothesis and conclude that they, that FDI and their cost log of GDP. So in this case, we can say that there is a bidirectional causality between FDI and log of GDP. Let's take another instance. Let's estimate the danger causality between 
GDP and gross capital formation. So again, you hold your control key and you select log of, uh, log of capital formation and log of GDP. You double click and open as group. Click on view, click on branch of causality. Let your lab remain the way it is. Click on it. Now, in the first instance, our normal hypothesis said that log of GDP does not branch across log of data formation. Our p value is 0 0.06, which is less than 0 0.05. So, what do we do? We reject the null hypothesis and conclude that the log of GDP goes across log of capital formation. Then, in the second instance, the null hypothesis states that log of capital formation does not go across log of GDP, and our p value is 0 0.79, which is greater than 0 0.05 critical value. So, we fail to reject. The null hypothesis, which means that log of capital formation does not branch across log of GDP. So, in this instance, there is a unidirectional causality between log of GDP and log of capital formation, which is running from GDP to capital formation. So, this is where I'm going to end this video. If you find this video educative, Please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.